can't really ask for much more when you win the game. Um, and, you know, that's kind of what it comes down to. What was the feeling for you scoring that first NFL touchdown? It's probably something you look forward to your whole career. Yeah, I mean, that's something I've been kind of looking forward to since the, the day I got drafted here, pretty much. Um, and, and honestly, it's, a, it's about the team. It's about everybody running the, the route they needed to run. It's about Aiden putting the ball up there for me. Really, that was one of the best balls of the day for him because he only put it where I could get it. There's no way the defender could have got that ball. Um, so beautiful throw to him. Kudos to him and a good play call there, too. I lost, I lost track of you after you scored. You said you were going to wait uh, after the two-point conversion. You said you weren't going to spike until you scored a touchdown. Did you oh, spike yeah. it or what did you do? I, 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 was, I was blacked out. I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea what happened. I think I, like, spun the ball off or something and just kind of stared into the crowd. I'll be honest. I have no idea what happened. I kind of want to watch that, too. What the heck was I celebrating there? <laughs> did you get the ball, and do you know what to do with it yet? Somebody picked it up for me. I got to find where it is. I have no idea where it is. It might be right behind you there. Is this it? <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll find out. I don't know. That's pretty cool if somebody just said it in my locker. <laughs> what what'd you think of the poise and leadership of your rookie quarterback tonight? It was uh it was impressive, man. I mean he's uh he's cool as the other side of the pillow. Dude is not not a rookie. I don't. I mean, by years he is, but you know, by action and like you said, that poise that he has in, in those type of situations, you don't see that often from a rookie quarterback. I mean, like I said last week, the way he commands the huddle, the way he talks to us, the communication, the confidence. You know, throw a pick down there and early on in the game, and then the way he bounced back is it's impressive. So I'm glad I'm glad he's our guy. Josh, John Jacobs the last couple weeks has really gotten it going and has somewhat of a breakthrough in the run game. How does it change your offense when he's rolling like that? I mean, it just changes the way they can they can play me out there. You know, if, if you want to if you want to sit there and put an extra person over the top every single play, or you know, do do whatever you want to do on, on defense, you know, we'll find a way to, to make you pay. You know, so we've uh, we've we've done more talking probably in this last you know uh, week and a half or so um, than, than we ever have as far as that type of problem solving and making sure we complement one another. And you know, he's a, he's a great runner and he, he does a he does a good job at making good choices. So just got to make sure we, we we continue to do that and keep pushing and moving forward. It seemed like that, that run he had late in the third quarter, the 40 yard run, kind of sparked you all to, to finish that game strong. How did the team respond to that moment? I mean, you saw the sideline. You see that you see the way we reacted in game. I mean, aside from the you know how critical that was at that moment for for us, it was a. Uh, you know, it was obviously just 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 good to see a big run like that after all the game, kind of struggling to make them make them go, and then, you know, those are the type of plays that, that keep you going moving forward. You know, they times where they they figure you're gonna run the ball and you can still move it. You know, especially after not having success earlier in the game. So, really proud of, of, the, of our front and Josh for, for going out there doing that. Devontae, you've talked about complimentary football all year. Uh, it, it went into the hands of your defense the last two drives. Um, just are you growing to expect that they're gonna come up with the play? Yeah, I mean, we you know we, we expect that for sure. Anytime that they don't, you know, we, it's our job on offense to pick them up and make sure we do what we got to do. But if they're gonna go out there and play play ball like that, man, we gotta we gotta make it a little easier on them, you know, and, and create a little bit better. But they, at the end of the day, you know, football is an imperfect game, and you just gotta win by one more point than the other team. And uh, as long as we set out to do it the right way, and you know, we're we're executing to the to the best of our abilities, you know, it's not always gonna be perfect. So you just gotta figure it out and and do just just better than the other team. Devonte, uh, based on tonight's performance, what does it show about your guys' grit and resilience as a team? I mean, that's, that's two two different games, two totally different games that we put on tape. You know, last week, coming out and kind of establishing you know the run early, and you know, hitting a, a multitude of different different things on offense, um, and it was kind of easier. And this one, we played against a really tough front. And you know they had some skilled guys on, um, some skilled guys in the, in the in the back end too. So it's not always going to be easy, like I said. But it, it shows that we we we're that type of team. We can grit it out and stay together and, and you know finish it, no matter what style of ball we got to play. What was it like, uh, you know, catching up with Aaron this week? Did part of you kind of wish he was out there competing, or were you happy that you know he wasn't? No, something? yeah, I, I don't. I'm I'm upset for football and for him that he's not out there. But for this week, I was I was happy that we just went to dinner and, and that's the only action that he got. Um, you know, he's a, he is, I don't even need to talk about him as a football player, but um, it was it was amazing to be able to see him. Obviously, that's that's my guy. It's been a little over a year since we got to spend any time. So, got to hang out last night, and, um, you know, that was that was good for both of us. I know we, we both felt good about that. In terms of the aggressiveness of Bo as a play caller, I mean, how much is that something you guys can just kind of get behind? It's now two weeks in a row he's done that. Yeah, man, I mean, that's, we got the type of team where you can do that. And, 
that's, that's what we're down to do at this point is just do whatever helps this team move forward and and, uh, and put points on the board. So we got to do a better job of executing, but we love that aggression. We love, you know, we, we all about, you know, going forward on fourth down in, in smart situations and, and just, you know, maximizing what we can do out there. We got a lot of talent on this team, so I think uh, the, the way he's going about it is perfect. After the spring, you talked about turnovers and the importance of it, the mindset of it. Is that kind of an example of that? I always say turnovers change the complexion of a game. There's not much difference between a two-yard gain and a four-yard gain. It's very minimal, but when you get those turnovers, you change the complexion of a football game. So we were able to come up with two big ones and uh, help us win. You said before that you like to have the defense on and, and it'd be on you guys. You have to make that play. What did it feel like making that play? It's a dream come true. Uh, I poured my heart into this football. Yeah. So uh, to be able to help my team win is uh, a blessing. What does, what does it say about your guys' grit and resilience you know, to the team? Yeah, I think it says that we have uh, a bunch of guys that want to win. and. Um, our will to win is very strong, and we're just going to keep pushing forward. Um, a lot of unknown going forward. We're 5-5. Five and five. We're in a good place. Um, I think we're really meshing as a locker room, so I'm very thankful to be here. You guys, you entered the year with one interception in your career. What do you feel has been the difference for you? I mean, you got three now just this season alone. Great team defense. Um, it doesn't happen without the guys around me. Um, they've been making huge plays. One of the interceptions against Green Bay, Marcus Peters tipped it right to me. You know, Divine Diablo does a great job making the quarterback double pump. So none of this happens alone. Uh, you got to trust the guys around you and play team defense. So we're going to continue to do that. You're kind of along those same lines, where a lot of people had you pegged as just kind of the run, dunk, run, stuff, stuffer type of guy. How much pride do you take in, in excelling in the passing game in that sense? Um, I don't know. That, that feels like a dig on me. But uh, I'm just going to keep pushing forward. You have four turnovers uh, on the season now. When's the last time you did that? Was it, was it high school? or? <laughs> uh, I really don't keep stats. I don't keep trophies. I, I, I go forward. And um, none of this means anything tomorrow. We got the win. We came here. What we accomplished to do, none of my interceptions means anything going forward. So we got to reestablish ourselves every weekend, and we look to do that in Miami. So what has it been like with uh, AP as the head coach when he was your linebacker coach moving forward? He's been the same guy. He, he's going to continue to be himself um, unapologetically, and that's all you can ask for out of a head coach. He's going to pour his heart into our team, into getting us wins, and nothing more you can ask for. Just